population in the British Isles in the 16th and 17th centuries involved a spiritual awakening. It also involved political struggles to unify England, Scotland, and Ireland under one crown. Under Elizabeth I, 1553 through 1603, England was reformed in theology. Scotland was reformed before John Knox, circa 1514 through 1571, became its leading figure and its most celebrated minister. He is largely attributed to having organized the Presbyterian Church in Scotland. In the beginning, Presbyterian faith and life flourished in Scotland. In the early 1600s, King James I sent many Scottish Presbyterians to Northern Ireland in an effort to displace the Irish and establish British control there. By the early 1700s, these Scotsmen were ready to migrate to America because of the economic trials they faced in Ireland. Thus, Presbyterians in the United States came largely from Scottish immigrants and Scotch-Irish immigrants. Hence, the Scottish bagpipes will bring a bit of our heritage to our celebration. Now, contrary to popular belief, the bagpipes were not invented in Scotland or Ireland. The origin of the pipes in Scotland is uncertain. Historians can only speculate on the origins of the Scottish clan's great Highland bagpipe, but the Highlanders were the ones to develop the instrument to its fullest extent and make it both in peace and war their national instrument. Its music and unique sound were popular among the common people and enjoyed in fairs, weddings, and open air dances. In some places, the piper would play in churches in place of an organ. The Scottish people would have made the bagpipes one of the outstanding parts of their culture. They believe the pipes are a symbol of strength and a salve of the soul. Today, we have with us bagpiper Betsy Bethel McFarland. Betsy is a native of St. Clairsville, but now lives in Martins Ferry with her husband and 13-year-old daughter. For 23 years, Betsy was an editor for the Times Leader, the Wheeling Intelligencer, and the Wheeling News Register. She is currently the Communications Manager of Youth Services System in East Wheeling. She learned to play the pipes as a middle schooler when she lived in Dunedin, Florida, and played throughout high school. At present, she is the pipe major of the MacDonald Pipe Band of Pittsburgh. Betsy? <laughs> I know you all heard when I came in how loud it was. 